Removing distracting elements is easier than ever with the 2014 release of Photoshop CC. Not only has the content-aware technology improved in terms of quality, but the speed has also been improved significantly. Let's go ahead and take a look at a few examples. Now in this image of the cactus, I'm going to select the lasso tool, and I simply want to get rid of this cactus here in the background. The easiest way to do this would be to select Edit and then Fill. I'll use Content Aware, but when I click OK, you'll notice there's a little bit of a seam here where the colors aren't blended very well. And that's because in the past, the Content Aware technology really focused on the texture in the image. So let's undo that, Command Z or Control Z. And this time when I select Edit Fill, I'm going to use the new Color Adaptation option. This time when I click OK, you can see that Photoshop does a much better job in blending those colors. Now let's go ahead and try to remove the other two cacti here that are blurred. So I'm going to go ahead and just zoom in a bit. And you can see that we're going to have a problem probably right in this area. So what I'll do is I'll just select this area here because I know that I want this flower to be preserved, right? So I will just drag a little selection around it. And then I'll hold down the Shift key, and I probably want to drag around this area right here. And I'll also want to preserve this area here. Now what I can do is I can just jump those up to their own layer using Command-J so that now we've got just that area on its own layer. I want to make sure that I go back. I drop down to the background layer. Then I'll zoom back out. And then I'll use my lasso tool, and I'll make kind of a general, more broad selection around this area here that I want to patch, and then switch over to the patch tool. Now I need to make sure that the patch tool is set to content aware. And let's take a look at the adaptation options. It used to be that we only had one option here, but now I can change the structure, which is going to help blend the edges. Let's go ahead and make that just one for now, and I'll leave the color set to zero as well. The great thing about these settings is that I can always come back to them even after I use the patch tool in order to select a different area of the image. So you can see that it's done a fairly good job. It just has a little bit of a problem right down here. But let's try changing some of these options. So if I change the structure up to 3, for example, we can watch as it goes ahead and it recalculates that area. And that's looking much better. Now, I also am looking at the color area here. And it just looks a little bit blotchy. So I'm going to move the color up to 5. Now the structure has a range from 1 to 5, but the color actually has a range from 0 to 10. So this is looking much better. It's not as blotchy. But let's see what happens if we actually move it up to 10. I think now we can see that that background area is really blending in a lot better. So I'll go ahead and deselect. So you can see how just copying that little area up onto its own layer helps me to use these content-aware tools around edges of areas that are really busy. OK, let's move to this other image right here. Now, not only do I want to reposition this bird, but I actually have two layers in this document. And I want to take this bird and move it over into this background area. But you can see there's quite a difference between the blues. So let's switch to the Content-Aware Move tool. And I'll make a rough selection here around the first egret. And then I'll reposition that bird right down to here. Let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit and pan over and take a look at what we have. I'm going to use Command H or Control H in order to hide those edges. And let's look at the different options. If I move the structure up to 5, you can see that the bird is actually rendered a little bit better. But with the color set down to 0, you can see this mismatch between the background of the bird from the position in the sky where it was to this area here. So let's move up the color also to maybe 5. And it does a much better job blending. Now let's zoom out again. This time I'm going to select the bird over on the right-hand side. And I want to scoot it over. So again, I'll use the Move tool. I'll drag it over and position it the way I want it. 
and then we can see how good of a job it does at blending. So it's done a really nice job. Let's go ahead and zoom in again. And one of the reasons it did such a nice job is you can see here that my color blending is set up to five. Again, I'll hide the edges here so we can make sure that we see that seam using Command H or Control H. And if the blending wasn't enough, we could go ahead and move this to 10. That's just going to help the seams a little bit and make that bird look like it was in the original image. So as you can see, refining images is easier than ever using the Content Aware Fill, the Patch Tool, and the Content Aware Move Tool in Photoshop CC.